Welcome and hello everybody to episode 2 of the Dark Souls 3 Let's Play. Thank you all for joining me once again. And today we're going to be taking on the High Wall of Lothric, as well as doing something I said we weren't going to do for a while. So, in case you missed it, go ahead and check out episode 1 because it's going to make the most sense to do so. We are playing in order, and um, I've been saying that we're saving up 20,000 souls to go ahead and get the tower key. So, instead, I actually found out that the tree jump glitch is still here. So we're actually going to go do that real quick and get ourselves the ring and the Estus shard we need. So hopefully I can pull this off without too many attempts. Hey, first try. So I thank you all for joining me once again. Um, give me one second. Let me go ahead and adjust my microphone a little bit. Alrighty. I think that's a, that's about good right there. But um, yeah, so if you haven't checked out the first one, like I said, go ahead and check it out. Leave a like if you liked it, and of course, be honest with your rating. If you don't like it, leave it a dislike. It's not going to hurt my feelings. But showing a like lets me know that you guys are enjoying the series, and I'm really enjoying filming them. So we picked up the Estus Shard there. That's going to increase the amount of Estus Flask we can use. And here we have the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring. This increases the amount of souls we get by 10%, I think. So we'll go ahead and throw that bad boy on. And make our way to the High Wall of Lothric. Well, first, actually, let's go ahead and do some stuff here. Since I now have 9,000 souls that I'm not going to save up for the Tower Key, we're going to go ahead and level up. As well as reinforce our Estes Flask. And I think I can do it. Yeah, do it once. And, of course, I only have one Titan Night Shard. So we'll come back to good old Andre and level, level up my weapon a little bit soon. Okay, so let's talk to the Firekeeper and get ourselves some levels. I'm going to be focusing on Dex. But as I said previously, the um, the weapon we are going after is the Astora Greatsword for a majority of the game. The Hold R2 to win weapon. And uh, we're going to need 16 strength for that, I believe, on top of 20 Dex. So once we get 20, 16, I can kind of have more freedom with my stats. And that's going to be really fun. So here we have a couple of things that we definitely want to get. We have an Estus Shard. No. I'm trying to think here. What do we have to get here? We do have an Estus Shard to get. We do not have an Undead Bone Shard, which is what I was thinking of. But uh, we have a couple things to do. And there's a couple things here I won't do. Like go to Gear Rat's Sale. That's an optional thing we won't be worrying about. Like I said, there's a couple things here and there that um, I'm not really going to worry about doing in terms of this this Let's Play. There's not much to benefit from it, and it's a kind of a waste of time. But I have been playing on another character, a Pyromancy class. When I started this up, I was having so much fun that I obviously couldn't continue without you guys. So I went ahead and created a new character, and I did something we don't normally do, uh, or I don't normally do at all, which is Pyromancy. It was super fun. So, depending on how that build goes in the end, I may go ahead and do a Pyromancy Let's Play. I don't know how that'll really work in terms of, like, titling and stuff, but we may find a way. Hey, give me thank you for the Titanite Shard, my dude. But we're going to go down here. Oh, and get wrecked, apparently. I was trying to do a plunging attack there. Nope, I refuse to die this early on. That's actually something that I find interesting about this playthrough is I'm going to see how long it takes me to die. There is one particular... Uh, for that, I'm going to disrespect you a little bit. There's one particular area in this uh, the high wall that I really don't like. And I will definitely announce it when we get there. It's pretty much mandatory due to having an SS shard in that location. Oh no. But it's almost always guaranteed an instant death for me for some reason when I play through. We're going to see if it's going to be a little bit different. But these twin daggers, it's actually really, really kind of throwing me off here. Since I've never played with a dex, well, a dex-based class like this. I'm going to go ahead and take him out. And then up here, there is a Puss of Man transformation. We're going to go ahead and let that trigger to get the extra Ember and Titanite shards he drops. Well, I'll say that. Let me go ahead and let him kill everybody else up here. And... Oh, I don't have firebombs equipped. Not good. Not good. Ooh. 
painful. Let's go ahead and get down here and get, grab my fire bombs. That is something that was interesting about a pyromancy class is how easy it is to own, to kill pretty much kill these guys. Okay, nope, nope, and nope. Come on down the stairs. Can you come down the stairs? I may go rest at a bonfire and come back because having no S's flask on this guy is just a death sentence. And like I said, I do not plan on dying this early. I refuse to die this early. But actually, that's pretty much that part of the area. Once we go uh, kill him, we'll come back down and go through this part. But not before we get the bone arrow and we take him out. I think talking also kind of has me a little bit off sync here as well. Just because you don't normally talk to yourself while you play video games and it kind of throws you off. You're kind of preoccupied about keeping up a conversation then you are focusing on the game. And these dogs are also just really, really, really annoying. Oh. No, sir. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Grab that backstab. Prep up a good old R2 smash. Oh, this still didn't kill him. But here we go. Let's see. Is he still transformed? No, he's not. Okay. So I'm going to run up here, dilly-dally around for just a moment, grab the longbow and the standard arrow, and roll out of the way. So he can kind of do our job. Oh, did the archer really not die? Oop. Oop. He's going to. Maybe. I don't know. Yep. Yep. So these guys are super weak to fire, as you guys saw with uh, Gundir. So we're just going to go ahead and just spam firebombs at him. He's going to get a good hit in here and there. Chug, chug, chug. Woo -hoo -hoo. And firebomb. And while he's kind of staggered, we're going to go in for the kill. And get that tight night shard in Ember. Super, super worth it, in my opinion. I'm actually really surprised we're out of firebombs with as many as the game gives you this early. But we're going to make our way to the other side of this bonfire and get another one real soon. That is the thing about Dark Souls 3 is that there's a lot of like almost unnecessary bonfires in between. Um, I will point something else out there real quick is that we'll be back to this area because this building down here with that doorway that is a shortcut to the boss and we cannot access it quite yet. So we're gonna definitely grab that soon. But let's go ahead and grab a couple of these items over here. disrespect you a little bit and then there's one of these hollow shriekers that kind of aggroes all the other hollows you don't want that to happen no sir the reach is what's really messing me up i'm used to since i'm used to having like a sword or an axe that's really throwing me off with these kind of short range daggers no sir okay so we did kind of miss an area we'll go get real quick in terms of items. I don't bother with those guys that are praying either. There's like 36 souls. 32 souls that they give you. Not worth my time. Had a little bit more HP than your friend there, didn't you, buddy? Oh. So we'll take you out, and then we'll go up here and grab these other two enemies. And the binoculars. Even though they won't have like a real technical use to, to me... Um, it'll be mainly for like showing y'all landscapes or so maybe potentially somewhere we're going soon. I want to point it out. Did you just throw a firebomb? No. Okay. And drink some Estus and grab the binoculars. I think that's all that's up here. But we're going to go ahead and drop down and grab some gold pine resin. It is a attachment or not even attachment. It's a, um, it's a buff you can apply on your weapon, and it can deal lightning damage. And that's going to come in real handy against the boss to kind of just cheese him. But we're going to be doing enough of that, and you guys will see why. So let's grab this over here, which I think is a soul. Sure is. And this area right here is kind of an interesting one, because you have two routes to go. Okay. Stop that. Okay. 
trying to roll off and do a plunging attack. He's just too far. So you can either go down this hallway here, or this pathway, or you can just run straight up here. Dilly-dally for a moment. Let the big dragon dude come on in. And kill everybody for you. So, a lot of dead bad guys. Or soon-to-be dead bad guys. And we'll open up this here. So, somebody correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm also pretty sure this is the earliest you ever come across a mimic in Dark Souls games. I don't think I've ever seen one this early before. Um, super creepy enemies. Do not like the sound they make. Stuff of nightmares. And at this low level, they can definitely be a one hit. You can see that's what a smack does. The kick does even more damage. And the grab is pretty much lethal at this HP we have. And for whatever reason, they gave... Did I just stagger them? They give uh, Mimics just ridiculous reach like that. Go ahead and recover real quick. Yeah, that kick right there. That thing hurts. <gasps> Go ahead and get some hits in. And then we're close to a bonfire too, so I'm really hoping I don't get killed by this thing. I don't think... I've only been killed by it like twice. No! And I just jinxed myself. Well, boys, first death of the game. First death of the game. I got greedy, and this is what it gave me. You can't get greedy against a mimic. Let that be a life lesson for you. What I said earlier about the whole, we're going to see how far I can get without a death, throw that out the window. Five minutes later, and there it is. So just throw what I said out the window. Not a good, a good look for me. Not a good look for me at all. So we're just going to very quickly make our way back down. Take that mimic back. Kill him. Take the deep battle axe that he very so quietly holds. Oh, did I miss these fire bombs over here earlier? Huh, guess I did. Hmm. Oh, hey. What are you doing? But we're going to get revenge real quick on this mimic. And I'm not even going to heal using an Estus. I'm just going to use an Ember to get my health back. Because as I said, and as you guys could have seen the damage previous, is that the health or the damage he can deal to you is ridiculous. And I'm not going to allow that. Oh, no. There we go. I'm not going to allow that to potentially happen to me again, so. <clears throat> and I'm also playing online for the most part. There is one specific area that I will not be playing online at just because of the very, very, very... Um, nope, not again. Because of the very high probability of getting invaded. And it's really annoying when you're trying to film a Let's Play, I can bet, and just keep getting invaded. Okay, so... These daggers are throwing me off so much that I'm, I'm just not used to them. And it's probably going to take me... What? It's probably going to take me quite a while to get used to them, too, to be honest. We're going to drink that good old Sunny D. Nope. The camera angles are screwing me up. But we're going to stop blaming ourselves. That's what we're also going to do. We're going to take this beating like a man, just like this mimic is. And that almost happened to me again, but nope, you are dead. And the deep battle axe. Something that we're not even going to use, but I thought I'd point out the mimic to you guys and have some fun. And a course of death along the way. Very, very sad death to be exact. Take out this potential ambush here because we're going to go ahead and fight a Lothar Knight. Not really hard enemies by any means, but really annoying. Pretty much backstab cheese them. Or you can break through their shield and... Oh, well, ugh, I forgot the dagger has weird bounce-offs. But we could just backstab cheese them. That works pretty well. And then stagger them to death. You gonna drop me anything good? Yes, no, maybe so? Nope, that's a nope. So grab this soul here. Take out this really annoying ninja guy here. Come on. Poor reach. Poor reach. And you guys are going to see the amount of reach we are going to have with the Astoria Greatsword and how amazing it is compared to this. But we won't be using the Astoria Greatsword for the rest of the game. There are going to be a couple bosses that we are going to have to take on with another weapon. And you guys will kind of see that as we go.
could be a little surprise. But let's go ahead and grab this Titanite Shard over here. And I'm going to... I'm thinking about I'm going to avoid leveling this thing up at all. It depends. It depends on how much damage we do to um, Vort. Let that Lothar and I walk out so I can take on this really annoying enemy. Nope. Okay. So you're going to be like that, huh? Okay. No, sir. Around the pose? Yeah, nope. nope. We're just going to stagger you for a while. No, we're not. Aha. Got him. I think a heavy should kill you. Nope. I didn't get the first one. Haha. -ha. Oh. I was like a frame off from getting that backstab. Come on now. This is just ridiculous. Okay. You better give me something good after that. Not that we could probably use it anyways. So we're going to go down here. Deal with some more annoying ninja guys. Nope. These guys are also pretty deadly too. If you let them go kind of off on you. Especially two of them. Oh. You gonna come back down, boy? Ha 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 ha. Okay, so big ol' halberd guy, roll towards, backstab. Let's charge up this good old heavy. And R1. So, somebody also, nope, there's one down here. Interesting, on my pyromancer run, this guy wasn't down here. And I thought it was really interesting that he wasn't. So, I, I don't know. I don't know why he's down here now. I assumed that maybe those barrels exploding was causing some problems on PS4. Um, so, that they took him out. But, down there is an area we're not going to be going to. That's kind of one of the ones I said I was going to point out. Just because, eh, don't really need to for this run. Kind of not really feeling it for this run for that. Maybe maybe we could do a 100% Dark Souls run. That might be fun. It won't be this one. Maybe like a Platinum run. Be wary of Ambush. I, sw what, I just heard the crit sound, I thought. That was interesting. Huh. Okay. Anyways. So what we can do real quick. Run up here. Grab this Firebomb. Make sure we have enough, because there is a puss of man up there that's going to transform. Let him go ahead and transform. Come on. Okay. See if he follows me up this far. Because then we could just spam fireballs at him. Okay, come on. You know you want to. You know you want this. So I jump down here. We're just going to smash square for now. Oh, no. This may be my second death. Maybe not. Hold on. Do I have a chance? Smashing or smashing X was not working. Okay. There we go. Woo. I still do not like going into this area because of this next room that we're going to be going into with this low of Estes Flask. Some serious BS has happened to me in this next area. Okay, no, come back. I need this raw gem. Come back. Come back. Oh, come on! Okay. I was gonna say, I can't be out of stamina like that. We're gonna grab that soul there. And some black firebombs down here. Because the more projectiles we have, the better. So we're gonna go ahead and take a pit stop for those. Ignore that archer guy for now. You could jump down to this area here and pretty much go and open up the shortcut and come back. Uh, but, okay, I thought he wouldn't be able to hit me, but that's kind of useless, and we're going to miss out on the most important item in this entire area. What is going on? Well, there go my two Estes Flask. Okay, it's only when I record a Let's Play that dumb stuff like that happens. Guarantee you, that's something that has never happened to me in this game. Okay, grab those fire bombs there. 
it might be worth it to go ahead and open up the shortcut. Because apparently I can't get good enough at this game and play it. I know you're back here. You don't need to throw dust. Grab these undead hunter charms. Those are interesting because in PvP, it does not allow Estus recovery for a short period of time. But, um... You're supposed to fall off of that ledge when I smacked you. But also, you can throw them on Mimics and uh, open the chest up. So that's super interesting about them. Uh, okay, this room I'm not going to be going up against with this amount of health. With this least amount of uh, SS flash. So we're going to go ahead and go right on back to the bonfire and kind of rejuvenate ourselves. We can pretty much make a very quick run back to that area real quick. Since we're not going to be worrying about the Puss of Man and all that good stuff. Because that next room, I hate it. I don't know what it is. Like It's just like every time I go down there, some kind of bad luck happens. And it is just not fun. So we are going to run on down there. Very quickly. And let's just smack this poor guy off the ledge for, for good measure. Plunging attack him. Does Passive Man respawn? Oh, he does. Interesting. I wonder if that's a viable way of farming Embers and Titanite Shards early game. I don't guess I ever paid attention to that. Okay. Got this stupid archer back there on me. I'm going to grab this soul here and take on Lothric Knight, bad guy here. The shield or the spear guy is kind of harder to me because of that stupid tower like smack that he does. I think I have an archer that's gonna be firing at me too. But see, that's just annoying. The way he'll backslap you with the, his shield. Nope. Can I get the back? There we go. Give me the booty. And we're gonna let you get up, smack you around once or twice, and kill you that way. Not dropping any your armor, huh? So, there is the broadsword over here, which is a really good weapon, actually, early game. Especially if you infuse it raw. Works out really, really good for stuff like pyromancies and such. But, there is some stuff over there that we're going to go back and get. But, I'm going to take this room on. Nope, not like that. But, pretty much head on. Like, let's see. Okay. Thought that was going to ignite the barrels, but it didn't. So we're going to let you uh, get angry at me. Come on up here. Give you a smackins. Now, let's see. That shiny over there is the Estus Shard we need. And that is why this room is the most important room in this area. So we're going to firebomb you. Can I aggro you to come over here without the other guy? Hey, psst. there you go. Oh, they messed it up. See, I told you, bad luck. Bad luck. Oh, no. What did I tell you guys? Some kind of bad luck always hits me when I come into this room, and that's the other one. That's not... Okay, you are dead. There is one more of you guys. Where are you? Okay, you're still down there. Can I... Can I... No, I wasted that firebomb. I thought that was that big old axe guy. And then, or was that the guy that was throwing firebombs at me? I think it was the guy that was throwing firebombs at me. Smack him. Nope. Missed that. The heavy for the dagger seems odd to me, too. Mainly because it's a two-part attack. But let's go ahead and grab this Estus Shard. Around the corner and down those stairs, there is the Jail Cell Key, which is Gear Rat's little quest, and that was... Part of the stuff I was mentioning that I won't be really worrying about doing. At some point in my foray, I put a dagger up. Interesting. I wonder how how long that's been going on. So we're going to grab a shield here. And then we're going to go back out and somewhat backtrack a little bit. And grab the Astora Straight Sword. And you guys may be asking why I'm doing this. Mainly it's because if you've never played this game... This may be some interesting little secrets for you. And if you have played this game, this is just, you know, stuff I'm going to sell. Stuff I'm going to get some delicious, delectable souls from. But we're going to get ourselves some Green Blossom and an Astora Straight Sword and jump on back down. 
Now there is an enemy down here that I call the Beyblade. It's that guy there. He loves to spin. And he is super, super annoying. So I'm just going to fall off. Do a plunging attack there. Pick up that. And let's see. There is some embers scattered around this area. I don't... I kind of... I mean, I might as well worry about them. It depends. If he does some good damage to me, I, I'm not going to deal with him. But he has like a spinning attack that is super annoying. Ooh, can I get the backstab? Ooh, got him. Well, that works for me, guys. Do one. Uh, see, his reach is ridiculous. And then he's going to start an attack here real soon. More ridiculous reach. And I am like a shotgun compared to this guy. Can I really cheese him this way? Can I just run all the way around and do a backstab? Nope. The game thought of that. Ugh. And that is why I call him the Beyblade. But he made that mistake and now he faced for it. Because he's dead. We're going to chug our last Estus. Which doesn't really matter because we're about to unlock the shortcut. We're going to pick up all the items in this little area here. Okay, I think that's all of them. Two embers and the rapier. I'm pretty sure that was pretty much everything there. Ignore this archer guy from now. Apparently not. Dodge that one, didn't I? And I guess killing that um, winged knight actually worked out really, really well because we can go up here and get a soul. And then we can jump over here and get ourselves the ring of sacrifice. Basically, if you are wearing that ring, it breaks once you die. Um, but you keep all your souls. So if you know you're going to be in a spot in which you want to keep all your souls, but you're pretty much going to die, that can actually really help you out. Fortunately for me, I've never used it. I've never really thought I needed to use it. So... I'm just going to sell it. It's worth 2,000 2, souls. So... That's kind of going to come in handy. And what I'm thinking of doing... Let's grab this green blossom over here. What I'm thinking of doing is... Go ahead and going back to Firelink to level up. And then coming back on and taking on Vort. Because we're almost done with episode two, everybody. We have a boss fight. We're gonna we're gonna summon a special friend you may or may not remember from episode one. But it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be an easy boss fight. Who knows though? I was confident I wouldn't die in the first like four episodes, and here I am dying in episode two to a mimic. Only when I let's play. Holy crap! And death number two in episode two. It's the talking. I promise. Luckily, though, that was the shortcut we opened up. The very first bonfire of this area we'll go back to, and then we'll be right there at our souls. Realistically, I just... I realized that I could have just homeward boned back to that bonfire. Or to the shrine, I mean, and then we would have been golden. But nope. Nope, nope, nope. So for the you guys that wanted a death counter, we're up to two. And that's all I plan on it. Period. No more deaths for the rest of the game. Oh, how I feel like that will fail. Okay. Let me grab my souls. Take my terrible, terrible play skills back to Firelink to level up. Because apparently I have to get good. Hey, Axeman, come on back. No, I'm just kidding. Getting that booty. Oh my god. Oh, why do I have everybody on me? It's like the dogs, the archer. There's some poisonous throwing knives I could use. Come on, doggy. Do y'all not take fall damage? Like, what's the deal here? What is the deal with you? Next thing I know, I'm going to have one land directly on my head. Because those dogs will find a way to kill you. Oh, those aren't poison. I don't know why I thought they were. Oh. 
Okay, this is ridiculous. I am definitely going to have to level these things up. At least once. Maybe just once. Because the damage I feel like I'm doing is ridiculous compared to the warrior or knight class. Oh, and then there's the halberd guy to get all up in my butt the second I come up the stairs. Like clockwork. Why are you up here, archer? This is not your post. Dog is going to be death number three. Okay. Bad dog. What is going on? Holy crap. I, I can honestly say that this has never happened this early on. Sit. Now you. Come back down this way so I can plunge it. Okay, nope. Hey, that works. <sighs> I feel like I can't breathe in this game. I feel like for whatever reason, the game is just wanting to show off. I talked about how easy this series was going to be. And now it wants to show me up and do this to me. Dark Souls, why? I feel like there's been said a lot over the course of people playing this game. Okay, we are at Firelink. We have all the souls we need. We are Embered. Let's go ahead and upgrade these things once, level up, and then we'll go back and fight the area boss. And then I think that's where we'll call it an episode. Be careful. Yes, sir. I will be careful. Welcome er, well, hold on. Nope. Not welcome home. Not quite yet. Okay. Sell this stuff. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, so I can level up five times. So we'll do that twice. We'll do that. I think that's a pretty good spread. And then I will... I do have an extra SS flask that we'll go ahead and... Reinforce. So we'll go ahead and get that taken care of. And then we'll jump on... Vort of Boreal Valley so fast, he'll never see us coming. Almost went to the wrong bonfire. That always screwed me up, too. But do not worry. We're going to make sure this game becomes our little bitch by the end. It's funny, though, because I talk about how overpowered the Astora Greatsword can be. But for, like, the last two bosses, maybe three bosses, we'll have to switch to something else. It's too slow, but it's going to be fun. I mean, technically, we can use the Astoria Greatsword. That's what I did on my first playthrough, but... We're trying to cheese the game. We're trying to be overpowered. Okay, dog. I see you. I see you too, Mr. Axeman. But don't you worry. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Now it's really showing off. Are you going to fall down? No? Okay, cool. Disrespect you real quick. And you called your boys on me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. So we're going to grab... Ooh, a raw gem. I feel like that's a rare drop for those guys. What? Okay, that must have been his backhand. So we're going to jump down here. Roll off here. Decimate this guy. Give me that arrow, good sir. Take on some more shieldy boys. That, that like, I hate these daggers for, like, when they bounce off like that. That's absolutely annoying. No other weapon be get, behaves like that. It takes such a slow recovery time to get that would allow me to have control back over to my weapon. Doom. Doom. Absolutely sickening. But here we have Swordmaster. If you guys will remember, that is the NPC that we cheesed in the very beginning of the game. 
We got his katana. I think I may have talked about using his katana. But here he is to help us. We'll see him again, but it, will, it won't be for quite a long time. Our best friend will come back, and then he'll go, and we'll never see him again. But I'm going to let this cutscene play on out. Very frightening frogman. But luckily we have Swordmaster that's gonna kinda help us in a way. He's gonna tank some stuff for us. This guy has basically hit the taint the boss. Get all up in the booty hole. And then now here's his second form in which he gets incredibly aggressive. And that becomes pretty much roll at him or er, well. Yep, I was gonna say pretty much roll at him. Oh no. I was gonna say I drank that SS way too. But now he's gonna do his little frost breath attack in which we just keep on hitting that booty hole. And he's gone. Second boss of Dark Souls 3 out of here. Thank you, Mr. Swordmaster. What are you what are you doing? What did the wall hurt you? Goodbye, sir. So, we cannot progress on to the next area, however, due to two things. One, because it's the end of episode two. But two, because we have to go get an item, you silly people. We have to go get the small Lothric banner, which is just right up these stairs here. And I like the way the Dark Souls 3 progression kind of works. Um, you will see, like, you know what? No, y'all aren't worth my time. But you will see that... Um, like this part here, you're pretty much left to go forward, and you can't go forward. So the only other way is to go back. And I remember playing the game when it first came out, and I remember thinking how clever that was. Got the Lothric Shield, something we really, really won't be using. But I remember how, cl how clever that was, and I really, really liked the idea of that. And I was glad that the level design was pretty on par with the rest of the games in that term. Oh, we're going to grab Lucerne. Which is at Halberd. Uh, I felt like that should have been a backstab, but okay. That's fine. Can't put your shit up. Er, I was going to say, can't put your shit up fast enough, can you? But you can attack me fast enough. Nope. Drop me something. Drop me some tight knife shards. Something. Nope. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. That's fine. We won't worry about it right now. So we're going to go up here and talk to Emma and get the small author banner. And something else that's actually interesting is that if you attack her and kill her, you get a item. Um, and it's, I think it's called the basin. Uh, whatever you do, don't do that this early in the game. We're going to come back here later and it's for a much, much later boss fight. Don't, don't do that early in the game. It used to be fun because you can kind of cheese them, but now it's just not viable. So we have a blue Lothric Knight up here. These guys can be somewhat annoying to deal with. And very, very strong, as you guys can see on that hit there. I did not mean to use two. But they have the same move as the regular Lothric Knight. They stagger pretty much the same. They just do massive amounts of damage if they hit you. And he's, he can buff his weapon, too. Come on down. But he gives us the good old refined gem. Something I don't think we'll be using. We're going to make the Astora Greatsword sharp, but not refined. Where did that archer come from? That's right. He was up there on those stairs. But now if we proceed onward, we're going to go ahead and make it to the third area of the game, which will be part three, the Undead Settlement. 
and I'll let you guys watch this little cutscene. Alrighty, I'm gonna grab one item, and right before we end the episode, we'll go ahead and head on back to Firelink, level ourselves up, and we'll call it a game at Firelink, I think. We'll call it an episode there. Nope, gotta go up the stairs. But there is definitely some important items to get inside of the Undead Settlement as well. We have another Estus Shard, we have an Undead Bone Shard, we have... That's it, I think. No, we have the sharp. We need the we need to kill a crystal lizard to get the sharp gem. So, yeah, we we, we have you know pretty good pretty good uh, stuff to get there. I'm gonna go ahead and sell off of everything. I'm not gonna be using any boss weapons, so I'm not gonna need this soul right here at all. Ashen one. And no. But let's go ahead and get our. We'll go ahead and get our strength up to 14, sure. We'll be two levels away from what we need it to be. But I thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't, let me know in the comments. Dislike the video. Do what you have to do. I hope you guys are having fun with this series because I definitely am. It's definitely been something that I've been looking forward to every single day. And I love going back to this game because I love it so much. But once again, thank you everybody for checking it out. And I will see you guys in episode three.